Hello, I'm a Poké Edith and this is my digital story. My research topic is an examination of violence in video games and implication for aggressive behavior in American teenagers. The topic I originally started with was the effects of violent video games in American teenagers. Being the first coursework and trying to understand the rudiments of easy writing and not understanding the question, I performed badly. The first coursework which was collecting of data, I used the focus group and interview. I tried to explain the strength and weaknesses of both of them and I ended up picking the interview which I felt followed the, the course of my work. Following the process of filling the ethics form and going to the second stage of the coursework, I conducted two interviews. I used this course analysis to analyze my work but my major concern was the Foucauldian discourse analysis which I felt was most suitable for my work. Using Foucault to explain the technique of the exercise of power, I was able to understand his concepts of power and using the game Grand Theft Auto, which is a violent game and has vivid representation of violence, yet it represents a technical breakthrough in game design. The video game Mortal Kombat, which is embedded in extreme violence and has a lot of power structure, was used to identify Foucault, who is of the notion of subject and power. I had issues trying to argue how video games are likely to cause aggressive behavior. The argument at some point, I got lost because many scholars do not believe that violent video games are linked to violent behavior. The producers of video games do not believe that violent video games aid violent behavior and strongly advocate that video games are the reflection of the society. Porter 2003 Prior to this discovery, my argument changed and I didn't want to conclude that violent video games could lead to violent behavior. The third coursework, I picked the question of identity and active audience to analyze my work. I explained how the youth in video game has great addiction. The issue of identity refers to the construction of self, how we think others see us and could be about the experience faced by the individual. The issue of identity is critical in video game because you have to be a participant in it. Jenkins is of the notion that the issue of identity and game player is symbiotic and cannot be separated. I explain how the teenager immerses himself in the video game and adapts another identity while playing the game in order to win and gain maximum pleasure. I was able to explain that behavior and morality of young people has created unease through a negative stereotyping of youth. The media often project the youth with violence, youth crime, and obnoxious behavior. Obsegi, 2004. The role of active audience was explained in my work because video game is an interactive medium that makes it interesting. The role of the audience in video game can be seen as active participant. Cocklick proposed that an active gamer is the major concern in the production of game content. The Foucauldian theory of knowledge and power played a role in understanding the dynamics of video game. The Foucault's idea of power structure is a major theme in violent video game. The actor in the games always have a power tussle with the violin. The video game Y is likened to the modern type of game which struggles for supremacy which Foucault identifies. My research work has expanded my horizon in understanding the role played by the media in exaggerating violence linked to video games. Although the case of Berwick, who killed school children in Oslo, revealed he also wanted to play the fantasy he saw in violent video games. I explained various research work which suggested that addiction to violent video games could lead to aggressive behavior. A study by Cram et al. revealed that violent video games could be dangerous, but many scholars refute this claim, saying video games could increase IQ level and its use for fun and relaxation. Whitman Singer are of the belief that game content can manipulate the player and increase hostile expectations. Furthermore, I explained the team embedded 
the most violent video games to argue my point games like mortal kombat god of war and dragon have very vivid representation of violence and blood splashing everywhere could always influence the teenager watching i concluded my work stating the media isn't helping matters by inflating statistics and because it is of news value they don't care if the content is true or not Prior to my research, according to Porter 2003, he says, The United States believe information is exaggerated and the cause of violence is not linked to one factor alone. He cited a good example, which is the Lintonton shooting, which the media exaggerated the news, linking it to violent video game played by the student who went on a killing spree. My research work has been educating, revealing certain things I didn't know about. My major problem in the topic was that at some point, I got stuck and didn't know how to prove my argument. The feedback I got from my tutor proved the topic was hard and were merely assumptions and exaggerations by the media. I feel the topic has been overflocked and I want to delve into the issue of body image which is of huge interest to me. There is a growing dissatisfaction of body image. This is associated with many damaging results detrimental to the health of women. This issue is one that is prevalent within the contemporary society irrespective of ethnicity, gender, body size and is core eating disorder. Karch and Prozingi 2004 believed that the struggle for perfect body image leads to low self-esteem. They also exposed the norm in Western industrialized societies that the ideal female body has to be very thin. Grab it all purports that the portrayal of thin women by the media has increased the rise of anorexia nervosa. I will be looking at how women are portrayed in magazines, movies, the issue of pageantry, Hollywood culture, photoshopping, surgery and the quest for perfection. The issue of body image is very passionate to me and I will be using the American context because of the scary statistics revealed. Chapman et al. 1993 reveals that 150,000 American women die of anorexia nervosa. The American media in all ramification is extremely powerful and pervasive and many women try to be like what they see on the media. Richard says Photoshop has taken over the media and can be so subtle that ladies do not realize that the celebrities they see on screen are not the actual representation of what they feel. Gogan expresses his thoughts how the Western society equates thinness to happiness and social acceptability, not conforming to the ideal slim image could lead to bullying, prejudice and social discrimination. Ferguson and Richard are of the view that women are identified by their bodies and their bodies treated as sexual pleasure for men and this is promoted in Western culture by the media. The quest for perfection for ladies has led to disorders which has effect like cessation of menstruation, hypertension, low heart rate, depression and could lead to dirt. The issue of body image and ladies appreciating their body would be of immense satisfaction to me. Pro to my first topic, which I felt my argument wasn't verifiable, I believe this topic would be feasible. Exposing salient points, the media manipulates the body image of women, giving them unrealistic pressures to be thin. All this will be explored in my dissertation. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the digital story. Thank you.